Hey there, it's the Wine Sleuth, and I'm here today with Simon Hopkinson from, at the Magdalen Chapter Hotel. And we're here to talk a little bit about the wine and your philosophy about food and wine. Yeah. And uh, I, I read a quote of yours, and you said to buy the wine that goes with the food. Yes. I, think that was um, I mean, I, I, was, I was also talking about the wine that you might use in cooking with the food. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always said that always try and buy the, a, a wine that is um, good enough to drink um, to cook with. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not talk, one, one's not talking about you know, great, venerable mm -hmm. wines, but what I'm saying is if you were to come home and make a, um, a coco van, then um, use the red, while you have a glass of, have a glass of the wine, um, and I was like, uh, um, for instance, if you're doing a coco Beaujolais or something, you know, mm -hmm. a nice light red wine stew mm -hmm. and chicken, mm -hmm. then have a glass of that while you're making the... Um, the chicken. Yeah, um, well, I, I think it makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah, absolutely. But 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 the, the, I'm not just I'm not saying you know the, the, the dish will be infinitely improved the fine of the wine you use. This is just <laughs> the, this would just be a waste. But at least make sure that the wine is you'd enjoy to drink it as well as cook with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, what do you think about as far as the the chapter hotels go and their food and their wine? Do you think that they are quite um, uh, well matched, or what is the? Yes, I think there's. Um, um, I was having lunch here today, and there's um, a really nice um, um, uh, Trebbiano mm. that I had um, to begin with. Um, last night, I, a, a, a delicious Tempranillo, um, which was big. Mm -hmm. um, but it went with the food. It went, uh, oh, yes, absolutely. And I had an, um, a Grauble of Ette State, this is very nice. Oh, that's yeah, lovely. Yeah, it was good. Um, and uh, I find myself personally drinking um, particularly um, if it's you know not a terribly grand occasion the mm -hmm. lighter and lighter reds mm -hmm. I love big white wines I love great white burgundy it's, mm -hmm. it's one of my favorites um, but um, one thing I was looking for at lunch today was a, a glass of sort of cool flurry or something like that yeah. um, which is only available in bottle and I think mm. I was thinking to myself mm, there should be even a simple Beaujolais village mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. if, you know by the glass or carafe that yeah. would be nice particularly the summer coming up yeah well I, I totally agree with you I mean Beaujolais yeah. village is such a great wine to have uh, well really any time of year yeah. you know yeah. it's, a, it's a not too it's heavy it's refreshing it's, exactly. it's, it's, yeah. it's quaffing it's you know yeah. It's everything about <clears throat> my summer's day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure it will be beautiful tomorrow. Yes, it will. <laughs>